In this video, we'll take a look at the differences between HDR formats and how you can convert SDR to HDR. So what are SDR and HDR? HDR stands for High Dynamic Range and it's the better version of SDR, Standard Dynamic Range. There are two different approaches to displaying visual content. SDR is the traditional format offering a limited range of brightness, contrast and color, making it suitable for older TVs and monitors. On the other hand, HDR provides a much wider range of colors and contrasts, delivering deeper blacks and brighter whites for a more vibrant and lifelike viewing experience. While SDR is still commonly used, HDR is becoming the standard for modern displays, offering superior image quality, especially in bright environments and with high quality content. For creators, understanding how to work with different HDR formats is key to achieving the best possible look for your content. We're gonna focus on the HDR formats available in the Uniconverter and then see how to actually convert them. We're gonna use some complicated sounding terms, but bear with me. So in the Uniconverter, you can convert videos with SDR, Rec. 709 and three HDR formats, Rec. 2100 HLG and Rec. 2100 PQ. And when encoding with AGVC or H.265, it will support Dolby Vision as well. I know, this can sound a little complicated and meaningless, so let me break it down for you what it means for creators like yourself. I won't talk about SDR though, take it as the standard for the videos you record. This format was developed by BBC, specifically for live broadcasting and streaming, including online news such as YouTube. This is an easy HDR format that is also backwards compatible with SDR displays. This bit is important because not all displays will support HDR, so in order for a video to look good on any displays, it's a crucial factor. That's why for content creators, this will be the one to go for. By using this color space, you can have your content basically both in SDR and HDR, meaning that you elevate its level while still keeping it available for everyone. Now this one is more for filmmakers and high-end content. It was developed by Dolby and this HDR format is for mastering films and streaming content, like for Netflix and Disney Plus and yada yada yada. It also requires very precise grading, but will of course also offer better HDR accuracy. However, it's not backwards compatible with SDR displays. Now, this is an extra option in the Uniconverter when converting with the Kodak H265 that is also absolutely for professional use. The reason it might be important for you to know about this option is when you're converting movies for Blu-ray or for your HDR TV and the source file is in this HDR format and you'd like to keep it in its original quality. All right, it's time to convert. We're going to use the Uniconverter, so if you don't have it yet, be sure to get it from videoconverter.wondershare.com then open it up. Next, click on the converter tool, which will be on the home interface. Import your video file or files. Now to be able to utilize the HDR converting features of the Uniconverter, you'll have to convert using either the H.264 or AGVC H.265 codecs. This means that this conversion is not possible with all formats. That being said, the most commonly used MP4, MOV and MKV will absolutely work, so no need to worry. I have MOV files imported here, but I'll convert them to MP4. So first of all, I'll select my output format to be MP4 from the list down here. I choose same as source, then I click on the settings button here. What we're interested in is first of all, the codec that has to be either H.264 or H.265. So then we move on to the color space setting here where we can choose our HDR profile. Since I'm not converting professional content, I'll choose Rec. 2100 HLG. Then I'll click on save. Finally, I'll choose an output folder and I click on convert all. Before I wrap up the video, I'd like to briefly add to the Dolby Vision option. An average user might need this when converting iPhone footage, as newer models record Dolby Vision HDR footage. You can check that on your iPhone if you go to your video, then tap on the info button, and then see here it shows HDR Dolby Vision. You can turn this option on and off in your camera settings. 
All right, but that was for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.